I classify this the judge this is the general case of the rheumatic fever. A 15 year old boy under stem to the Department of Pediatrics and presented with chief complaint of palpitations since 5 years and uh, both ankle and knee joint pain for the last 2 years. Palpitation was continuous and present at rest and aggravated during exertion. After the GF is first involved the ankle joint and then knee joint with gradual onset and accompanied swelling. Restlessness at rest for the last 5 days. Uh, history of hospitalization in the private hospital for fever and sore throat. There is a similar history present in the family. His eldest sister diagnosed with pelvic incompetence and his sister hospitalized and died for your day. And development as per age and no history of tuberculosis, diabetes, mellitus, and tuberculosis. All general examination is evaluated time, place, and person. is thin paid and poorly nourished. Uh, vitals are heart rate the 90 beats per minute and DP 100 per 60 ml of KG. He was defibrillated and respirated 24 per minute, chest palliative clean, clear. There was subcutaneous nodule at his tender passenger joint and clubbing grade 2. Now, uh, coming to a local examination, on inspection there was no direct over the chest and visual pulsation present over the left breast in the region, second and fourth intercostal spaces. On palpation, there is an apex which is diffused for 15 and 16 intercostal spaces, 1 cm period from mid to the line, which varied to axilla downward and downward. Pulsate of 90 with normal lesions and character with no red to radial feet and red to femoral lesions. On spalation, there is a presence of pan-scrolling murmur and early rest-scrolling murmur in the aortic area, and mitral area shows apex speed. Wide pulse ratio of above 40 mm of 5G and sound was S1 mopoid, S2 accentuated and loud, and S3 presented apex. Now we find out the tension of valvular incompetence, rheumatic heart disease and post streptococcal reactive arthritis. Uh, on investigation, the patient was uh, a low hemoglobin concentration and elevated TLC and ESR. On the imaging, X-ray shows left rotor straight and showing cardiomegaly and 2D EVO and metal milk plus severely calcified, severe MR and dilated left heart and LP storage function was normal. ECG is the show of sinus tachycardia and right heart valve enlargement. And the microbiological report, laboratory report shows the ASO positive and CRP positive and the negative RF vector. On management, acute fever diagnosed according to the Jones criteria. A patient shows the major, the three major positive and three minor positive. It is a highly suggestive case of ARS, which leads to rheumatic heart disease. A treatment is given, no IV fluid were administered, and a mycomycin, zeptrizo, nethromycin, tosylate, pentisolin, injection of canadula were given. Follow up, the patients were significant improvement after the initiation of anti inflammatory therapy given the man of antibiotic profiles, this case is early 20. He advised to show up for regular examination. Initially, he should be placed on bed rest followed by a period of endo activity group permitting to return to school. Full activity should not be allowed until the acute phase they attend have to return to normal level. The patient advised to have a nutritional diet and without any restriction. Thank you. Which is progressive to the remitted heart disease. Mitral regurgitation, optic regurgitation, uh, and initial stages of microsclerosis. Mitral was severely calcified. Or did you give Mitral regurgitation is severely calcified. One sound was